Hi there, welcome to the Future Technologies Conference here in Vancouver, Canada. With me, Jordan Louis, and you are researching home-based rehabilitation, right? Yes, sir. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Sure, yeah. So typically when people have a an, an incident such as stroke like we research, mm -hmm. you will do some amount of rehab in a clinic and typically they want you to go home and do exercises as soon as possible. So you can be independent yep. and also to decrease the burden on the healthcare system. Mm -hmm. But it's difficult because people completing exercises, it can be difficult. Life is, life is stressful, life is busy. Uh, but reporting how often you exercise and what rehab you actually did can be very difficult to track. So, mm -hmm. so we're looking at devices that help to track that essentially. Okay, um, in developing those de uh, devices, what are the main challenges? The main challenges are really trying to align the, the mixed priorities of, of the patient for their own independence and, and them wanting to see utility out of the mm -hmm. data recording. The doctors really wanting to get data that's reliable. Healthcare has the really the highest standards in, in confidence in the data being accurate, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, the loved ones, similar to the patients, want to see that the, 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 the person who's recovering is, is comfortable and that the data is suiting a real purpose. Mm -hmm. and, and regulators want to see that the data is, is secure, yeah. stored safely, anonymized where it can be. And, uh, and we need to also do our degrees and, and, and have results that people value and we want yeah. to graduate. So there's, it's a mixture of many priorities. And, and how do you work on combining those priorities? We read a lot and uh -huh. uh, we luckily have a very large lab and one benefit of that is people who are doing similar approaches in different different solutions, different types of healthcare problems. We often, when we talk, you cross pollinate and you, you share experiences and, mm -hmm. and get ideas organically from talking with other people. Mm -hmm. Coming to conferences and, and poking around in, in adjacent topics always gives new ideas. So. Yeah, and uh, when you will have cracked this nut, your research is finished. What good will that bring to the world? The uh, ideal goal of, of a research like this is to really give confident data recording that is, that is secure and that's recording only what's needed, but giving insight into people performing exercises at home. So doing, mm. doing the regular ac activities of daily living, showering, cooking, doing actual exercises that are more isolated and quantifying the degree to which they, they use their body, especially in, in the case of stroke that they use the, like their weaker limbs as they're recovering. Mm. So if that data can be recorded confidently without the patient having to kind of consciously exercise, that's the best ideal because they're, they're just being coached and, and gamified into being more active, essentially. And in the end, that probably will help me recover quicker in a comfortable way. Exactly. It could yeah. be for serious conditions. It could even just be for a fitness plan. It could be, it could be okay. used in multiple types of recording data for useful analytics for life. Hmm. Exactly. The conference is called Future Technologies. Where do you see, where do you see technology taking us in let's say 10 years time? That's a good question. Uh, I guess the, in, in this sphere of what I'm trying to do for activity, activity monitoring, mm -hmm. it, I can really imagine that as we try to really design specialized hardware, we're doing our best to pick the ideal sensors for the job. But I see that the, the expertise and what's being done in industry is really designing better and better devices. So these Fitbit, mm -hmm. Apple Watches, uh, but they don't necessarily suit perfect healthcare needs. And I think there's kind of an intersection between the two anticipated, the, the mm. specialist designing for specific conditions and these, these very slick and generalist devices will eventually kind of converge in something that could be used for multiple types of, of activity and wellness sensing that's a bit more scientifically informed than it is now. We are uh, coming close to the, to the final hour of this conference. How did you like it? I loved it. It was very amazing. It was it was intimidating in that I'd say at least 80% of the presentations I listen to, I still barely understand. Uh, but I, I have a, a lot of time to really Google everything and, and talk with these people, but also look at their papers after. And it's really broadened my horizons to have so many things I've never heard of before. So it's been amazing. Okay, well, thank you. Enjoy the final hour. Thank you. And if you want to see more interviews like this one, or if you want to know more about researches like this one, please take a look at the website. There's a lots of more videos there for you to see. Thank you.